The 2024 cicadas will be emerging soon across the central US, including parts of Indiana, especially northwest Indiana and southwest Indiana. The rest of Indiana has a brood that does not emerge. Last time emerged was 2021. But when you look at northwest Indiana in this brown, that's where we have brood XIII or brood 13. You also have brood XIX, that's brood 19. They're from Terre Haute to Vincennes to Evansville. So these are the two that will be emerging and they generally do stay in their pockets. When will they emerge and how is the weather possibly impacting that timeline? Let's take a look at a couple things. We have to take a look at uh, how deep the soil temperatures are about eight inches. That's where they buried their babies. They got the eggs down there because they're insects. They need warm weather. They need warmer air in order to kind of spark them and, and to get things going. So you look about eight inches deep. Well, we're still too cold. Generally, we start to see these cicadas brooding and, and emerging there from about mid May into early June. And then once they're out, they're out for about five or six weeks and they're going to be everywhere. But for Indiana, you have to go northwest or southwest. We're not going to see them in Indianapolis or Richmond or Kokomo. So when we're trying to take a look at some of these ground temperatures, we can look at different weather patterns that we've had here recently. There are two ways to warm up ground temperatures that deep, eight inches deep from the surface. First thing, you've got to have warmer weather just in general. And we've had warmer weather. Overall, winter was warmer, so the ground wasn't as cold. We did not pick up as much snow uh, this winter, but uh, with that uh, El Nino phase, we had a warmer winter overall. So ground temperatures are warmer than normal slightly. But the other way to warm up ground temperatures that deep is rainfall, because once you get rain that goes through the soil and helps loosen things up, helps to warm things up deeper down because we got to thaw out from the winter. When we're taking a look at just rainfall data specifically, April has been a soaking one for parts of Indiana, especially central Indiana and southwestern Indiana. Now for the cicadas, we don't care about what's going on for central Indiana. We're just caring about the counties that they're going to probably emerge in. So we've got a good three inches, four to five, six inches there for that uh, brood 19. But you go to brood 13 in northwest Indiana. I mean, they've gotten some rain, but nothing that's out of the ordinary. So from a rainfall perspective, probably on track for ground temperatures and how warm they get. You go to southwest Indiana because of all the rain. We're warming up a little bit faster, so we've been able to take a look at some of these ground temperatures. Purdue has a mesonet. It's got a handful of sites across the state, so these are not soil temperatures right at the surface, but eight inches deep. So when we're looking at northwest Indiana, about 54 degrees, a little bit warmer to the south. When we're looking at temperatures, we're looking for a range between 64 to 65. That's generally when we've seen cicadas uh, start to emerge. Once because they're insects and, and they're cold blooded, they need that warmth to get things going. And that's the same case for all the cicadas across the US. So cicadas farther south will probably be emerging here very soon. Actually, right now they may start to emerge at any time for parts of uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, maybe even North Carolina. The brood uh, 19 kind of is a little bit more expansive across parts of the south. But for here in Indiana, we're looking for 64.5 probably if you go for 64 to 65. We're not there yet, but we are getting close, especially in southwestern Indiana. We may have to speed up the timeline. Generally, we start to see these cicadas in uh, mid May. It may be as soon as late April or very early May for some of the brood in southwestern Indiana. If we can get the soil temperature up, but this is just one location. It'd be nice to have, you know, a thousand different locations to really see all the soil temperatures across Indiana to get a good uh, reading. But we do have some warmer ground temperatures to the southwest, so we may see them here very shortly start to emerge in southwest Indiana a little bit ahead of schedule. In northwest Indiana, we may be closer to schedule, so probably mid April or sorry, mid May to late May, maybe as late as uh, early June. But there towards May, middle end of May for Northwest Indiana, but maybe here soon. Late April may be pushing it, but early May could be the timing when we see the cicadas emerge across the state. Remember, just two broods impacting Indiana. Most of Indiana, the brood that would be impacting us, impacted uh, us, came out last in uh, 2021. So it's not gonna be until 2038, because I believe they're a 17 year cycle, 17 year brood. So we got a while to wait in Indianapolis, but Northwest, Southwest, We'll be watching for cicadas here shortly, maybe a little bit ahead of schedule.